Down for people in Kenya's Turkana region, drought isn't the only natural disaster they face. Expanding lakes are causing floods, which are destroying homes and taking lives. BBC News Night's international correspondent Joe Inwood travelled to northern Kenya to find out what is going on. It was along the shores of Lake Turkana that the first humans are thought to have lived. The waters have provided ever since. But they can also destroy. In recent years, Lake Turkana has been expanding. Flash floods washing away homes and claiming lives. So your home was just here? A Tutlokara shows me where she used to live. The raging flood marooned us and we had to move again after my house was submerged. I moved my things and left. Now I do some odd job for local fishermen. So my children and I survive. If you want to get a sense of just how high the water has risen, that is the top of a tree. And if you were to look below the surface, you'd see houses, the remnants of people's lives. But while there is far too much water in Lake Takana, the strange thing is, just a few kilometres inland, this region is suffering one of the worst droughts in living memory. We have had now four failed rainy seasons in this part of Kenya. The prediction is that this drought will continue through the next rainy season. The Takana Basin Institute is world famous for helping us understand the origins of our species. But for the scientists here, Humanity's future is now also a concern. This is unprecedented in recent history to have five failed rainy seasons. It might even fail again next year, which will have pushed people to the point of complete collapse. Drought and flooding at the same time? How is it possible? Well, a few years ago, the region received record levels of rain, especially in the highlands and rivers that feed into Lake Turkana. That has been followed by this unprecedented drought. It's also thought that tectonic activity in the Great Rift Valley might be having an impact. The negative consequences of all of these are now hitting the region at the same time. For pastoralists like Anna Elibet, it has pushed her to the brink. <laughs> We lost many livestock to flooding after their grazing area was covered by flash floods. You can see the carcasses laying there. I settled here thinking the flooding was over. Now drought has hit my remaining animals. I have no place to go now. We are facing acute drought. Starvation is staring at us. This fragile ecosystem and the way of life it has sustained for millennia are on the sharp end of our changing climate. It is far from certain they will be able to survive. Joe Inwood, BBC News, Tokana in northern Kenya.